Hey YouTube, Renee here once again, and we're going to start with our first um, part of this project, and that is reaming out that bowl and getting rid of the charring around the, the rim. Now, two ways to go about this, and uh, you know, either way works for me, this is why I try it. Now, before I do begin, let me just say this, okay, um, this is not the only way of doing this, this is probably not the uh, most efficient or you know, I don't know, safest way of doing this in in matters of, you know, uh, working with Briar. But uh, this is just the way I do it. I'm showing you guys the way I do it. It works for me. And, you know, um, I just want to show you guys that. So I'm in no way am I telling you guys this is the way you should do it. No, not at all. Um, just showing you this is the way I do it. So um, two ways that um, I usually go about it. Um, a lot of times... I will start with the uh, pipe reamer and um, then, you know, I will, you know, I, a lot of times I use uh, needle files to really get in, you know, just really get into it and really scrape the the uh, the cake. I usually take all the cake out of my pipes anyway, so, you know, I really just scrape that off. Um, and then towards the end, I use uh, sandpaper, uh, 150 grit, 400 grit just to, you know, soften it up and, you know, even, even it out. That's if I'm leaving just a very, very slight, slight, um, film of, um, cake. At that point, it's just a film. It's not even, uh, you know, and it, it has really no cake left at all, but that's the way I do it. Now, of course, everybody will say, oh, well, you know, you really shouldn't, you know, scrape the bowl with, with any, with any metal or anything, anything like that, because you're going to scrape the bowl. Uh, on the inside, you're going to, you know, scar the wood and stuff like that. But, guys, this is briar wood, okay? This is not soft wood. It's not it, It's not a fragile wood, you know? This is 90% uh, of the time that you're going to be dealing with this wood. You're going to be trying to light it on fire. <laughs> not trying. You are going to be lighting it on fire. That's what this wood is made for. So, uh, don't be don't be that, you know, don't be afraid of it, you know? Definitely, definitely, you know, be, be careful with it. But, you know... It's uh, it's tough wood, guys. It's really tough. But now another thing you guys can do if you want to avoid all this, uh, maybe just start off with the reamer and just ream it out, and then just grab your uh, drill bit, your drill or your sander, or whatever um, rotary tool, and sand the bowl. Get in there, just sand the bowl. Get in there, and actually. <laughs> It's already working <laughs> just with my finger, you know, and just sand the bowl like that. You know, it takes seconds and you will avoid all that. And uh, of course, a lot of people will say, oh, well, you shouldn't do that because you're going to scratch the wood. And yeah, definitely you are. So be very careful. But here's the thing. OK, you know, you start you start using this, you start going with it and uh, keep dumping it out as, um, you know, regularly, you know. Uh, don't use too much force, just go slightly, and just after every turn, dump it, after every turn, dump it. Once you see that the uh, the dust is coming off, stops being black, starts being maybe like a little tan color, that means you're hitting wood. You can stop. <laughs> Simple as that. But, for all intended purposes, this, um, do I advise this? Um, after you've use this a bunch of times and you're fairly confident in your in your skills this is just for beginners by the way uh, then yeah definitely do this I mean you know trust me I I don't do this all the time I still work with this so the first thing we're gonna do is um, you know get in here and get rid of all this caking Now there is something in there, isn't there? I'll be. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Well, this is this is unexpected. Um, here, let me <laughs> show you what this is. There's actual <laughs> old tobacco in there. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, well what's the surprise? Hmm. Wonder what kind of tobacco that is. <laughs> I'm tempted. I'm tempted to take a uh, take a whiff on that. <laughs> now, 
again so we just keep going and you see how this is just you know it can it can be time consuming and my videos are going over five minutes Ugh. but this can really really take some time to get all that out and um, really get to the bottom of that so let me just stop there with this and um, let me just show you what I do here now for the uh, for the rim what I do is I start off heavy I start off with 150 grit which you know is a very very hard grid but actually this is kind of fine this is not you know just very very hard but you know for something like this you guys can see it's, it's pretty caked on there so and more than likely I'm gonna restain this anyway so but as you can see the 150 makes quick work of taking the charring off of your pipe off of the rim so it just you know and one of the things that I do is um, I try to keep moving the pipe as I'm as I'm sanding it and I'm not putting too much pressure really some pressure but not a lot but you know you want to keep moving because you don't want to since it is 150 grit it is a high grit um, sanding paper you don't want to uh, it's coarse sanding paper so you don't want to stay in in one spot too long otherwise you will sand that spot down too much and then you're gonna have a lopsided rim so you know and as you can see that is pretty much have, has taken all the caking off except for right here and uh, the, the wood here is now scratched but um, the way you fix that is you start off with 400 and then 600 and then um, 800 grit sandpaper and you know that usually takes off all the um, scratches that you've made on there so I'm going to finish this up and uh, I will see you guys in the next video as always, thank you for watching. Comadres, comadres, mangonios.